Hello there and welcome to my home. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Lisa. Today we are adding some special Easter touches along with some cozy, neutral, simple spring decor to our living room. Again, I just want to welcome you and tell you how glad I am that you are here. We're jumping right into this decorating with this shelf that I have hanging on my wall. I'm going to add this gold medallion. It is on a marble base. And then I found this picture at Hobby Lobby a while back. Always get your Hobby Lobby items on the 50% sale. Wait till the week they're on sale. The gold ties in together. I'm gonna break up the gold and transition the hard lines with the screenery. You can see I like to use a lot of pieces over and over again. You don't have to buy new things when you decorate. You can just replace and repurpose them. And then this neutral toned little bunny rabbit. And that's gonna top off this shelf simple and when Easter's over I will just switch out the rabbit and it will just carry on over for the rest of spring. Just below the shelf is our dog kennel. Hello Raider. He's going to patiently wait while I decorate the top of his home away from home. We have a lot of new friends here so you probably don't remember this vase that I picked up at TJ Maxx. It had a pinkish hue to it and so I gave it a little DIY makeover and that will be coming up soon. I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to anchor down some other things that I plan to put here with this gold tray. One of them being my wax warmer. I, this is a wax warmer from Walmart and I love the way it looks. It's very pretty. I have had wax warmers spill before so I always like to put them on a tray or something to protect my wood surface. I'm adding this cream colored vase filled with some faux lavender and then this little bunny dish I've had for a long time. I'm going to add some chocolate M&Ms to it. because I want to bring a little more spring to this table. I'm going to add this faux baby's breath. I can't even remember where I picked this up. I've had it so long that I'm going to place it in here and it sheds a lot, but it won't be disturbed here. So that's not going to be a problem after I fluff it. And I always like to tell y'all to take the time to spread fluff and arrange your faux greenery. It just helps to make it look more realistic. This all ties in nicely together, but I have this empty space between my floor lamp and my television cabinet that I want to soften and kind of anchor so that my lamp doesn't look like it's floating. I picked up this planter at Dollar Tree in the $5 section. And then I shared this little tree in my recent spring home decor haul. If you missed that, go check it out. But I'm going to elevate the tree in the planter with this book. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to use packing pillows from a recent order that I received. I'm going to fill in the gaps with this so that when I add my Spanish moss, it doesn't take as much of it to cover the surface. Spanish moss is very messy so I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum after I'm done and then you'll get to see the final look of the shelf the table and the tree all tied in together If you have pets that like to get into things, then I suggest maybe you use a different covering or like a scarf, a blanket, something like that that they won't destroy or possibly eat. We're very blessed and fortunate that Raider doesn't mess with anything. He is a people pleaser and he knows his mama would not be happy. So I'm able to use this safely with him, but just wanted to Throw that out there if you have a pet that likes to eat things or make a mess in your home. Choose something else because this is definitely messy. Now we're going to move over to my mantle, and this is one of my favorite places to decorate in my living room. Uh, you can do so much with this. I'm showing you here that I keep these command hooks on my mantle at all times so that I can attach different decorations for birthdays and holidays up here, and I don't have to take them on and off. If you watched my kitchen decorate with me, you will recognize this. I am going to borrow it from the kitchen and place it here on the edge of my mantle. I'm using these books as decoration. These have been passed down and are special to my family. I have this little bunny statue that I'm going to put here beside the vase. And then I hauled this in my spring decor video for you guys, and I'm going to just round it out here on the end. So I've had this garland for a long time, and I'm going to use those command hooks I told you about. Makes it very simple and easy to place the garland up here and drape it off the edge of the mantle. Like to keep this little lamp up here year round for just ambient lighting but I do not like to see the plug and cord so I'm gonna place this glass vase up here and fill it with these gold marbled eggs I picked up at the end of last season from Hobby Lobby at 80% off so don't skip those end of season clearance sales if you want to add to your seasonal decor it's the most economical way to do that filling the vase with the eggs I'm going to insert these faux flowers and then I'm going to take some extra eggs to prop the flower stems up so that they stay just where I want them to be in the vase.
I love mixing gold and silver metals, so I'm gonna add this bunny statue here to also help hide the rest of that cord. And then this matching little silver bunny on a wood platform here on the end of the mantle. I have this super cute carrot gnome bunny garland that I'm gonna drape in front of the greenery and make it super cute and festive for Easter. found a lot of my decorations through the years at either Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx and I was recently in both of those stores and they still have plenty of Easter decor and accessories to choose from. So if you are feeling inspired to decorate still, there's plenty of time. Head in and pick up some stuff. Dollar Tree is another great resource if you want to keep it very budget friendly. I think the top part of my mantle turned out super cute and I want to tie in some greenery and some of the orange from the carrot down below on my hearth so we're gonna decorate that area next I've had this spiral topiary for a long long time I got it at Hobby Lobby and it had a brown vase and it is still available even after like 10 years so you can still go get it out and I'm gonna share that DIY with you as well this is my round top collection holder and a little hanger and then I'm gonna just anchor everything down to the hearth with this nest full of eggs and a faux bird So all that together just completes the look of the mantle and hearth and I think it turned out great and it will transition after Easter as well into just wonderful spring decor with a few new touches and modifications. This last table that I want to decorate, it already has most of the decor on it that I just leave year round. I have these ceramic flowers that I love, but I'm going to add a, a very special touch. I love, love, love this resurrection scene. I have had this for years. I couldn't even tell you how long my boys were little when we got it. It is the representation of what Easter is all about, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He took on all of our sins, and that is what is truly the focus of the upcoming Easter season. So we have this in its place of honor here on the table. I just love it. I love this when I look at it. It just sings to my heart and I hope it does to you as well. We're going to add a few throw pillows to our couch. Some bunny loves you. My husband got this for me for my birthday. And then I picked up this rabbit pillow from Walmart. It matches the rabbit picture I showed you earlier in my kitchen decorate with me.
spring and Easter decorating has almost come to an end here at my house. I do still want to show you my spring porch. I've got some special things planned there. And then, like I said, be on the lookout for those super easy DIYs for the aged vessels and concrete look. It is a way to transform existing pieces into something new and modern. I am so glad that you are here and so glad that you have chosen to watch today. I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe and join the community here. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.